Hello and welcome Pixels! In this episode I want to try to explain the gizmo feature in Blender 2.8, because there are some misunderstandings of my older video. Here is a little overview of the content for this video. Timestamps are in the description below. First of all, in Blender 2.8 is no shortcut for enable or disable the gizmo, then in Blender 2.79 or lower. There is as well no official shortcut which switch the gizmo mode for moving, rotating or scaling. You have the shortcuts G, R and S for move, rotate and scale, but after pressing one of these buttons there will be no gizmo enabled. Pressing the button immediately run the function. You have the possibility to show or enable the gizmo by pressing T for the left side menu and selecting Move, Rotate, Scale or Transform for a combi gizmo. Optional you can select the gizmo menu, go to Object Gizmo section and select the wanted gizmo mode. It is possible to select all of them at the same time. You are able to work with the Move, Rotate and Scale gizmo now and stay in the current selected mode if you switch objects. G, R and S still run the original function, even if you activated a different gizmo, e.g. move. If you want to leave the gizmo mode, just press e.g. selection box or anything similar like this. But maybe you want to switch the gizmo mode with the shortcuts G, R and S as well. For this hover one of the function icons and do a an right click and select assign shortcut. Now it is up to you which kind of shortcut you want to choose. For presentation issues I select the G key for translation, R for rotation and S for scale. If you select one object now, it is easy to change the gizmo mode with your new assigned shortcuts G, R, S. Consider that you only switch the mode itself and you can't run immediately the function anymore. As of now you have to work with the gizmo and lose the opportunity of auto run the function with the shortcuts if you selected G, R and S for the shortcut. If you select a key which is already token, then you can't overwrite this. E.g. if you select H as shortcut, this button will still hide objects instead of activating the move gizmo. With GRS shortcuts adjustment, you will destroy other shortcuts like R plus Z. It is as well possible to use the shortcuts in edit mode once adjusted the gizmo mode. You are able to remove the assigned shortcut if you go to the wanted icon, do and right click and select remove shortcut. Ok, now I have one last example which may be interesting for you as well. Your mesh is very complex and you want to move a particular face with an extraordinary angle to especially this direction where the face normal points to. For sure we need the move gizmo. Open the gizmo menu now, go to object gizmos and press the transformation orientation box. You may know this of Blender 2.79, which was the option beside the gizmo selection. Select normal and the gizmo orientation switches to the selected mode. Now you are able to move the selected face along the normal direction. You find other gizmos orientation as well here, e.g. local could be very useful as well. That's all of my knowledge. I hope I was able to simplify this topic a little bit for you now. If you have more information about the gizmo or shortcuts, please let us know in the comment section below. 
thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!